Hello everyone, so this is me, Angela Celestine, and today I'm going to share a poem that I wrote recently. It is a work of fiction but is printed with some amount of reality. So here we go. When I am gone by Angela Celestine. Gazing at my pallid palms, relishing my mind in my mind, applauding the mystical carbine, suddenly my eyes settled for irresistible siesta, a bizarre library with no soul around, a scary clown gripping a book emanating strange sound, as I plucked the book and read, thunder echoed inside my body, Following the revelation, I ran, rushed, and dashed into a forest dense and deep. I tumbled down before I could come. Managed to crawl through the littered leaves floor, I flumped into a wooden stump and gazed at my pallid palms. My eyes wide open now, mind mediating between fantasy and actuality when blood streamed from my knees, no dream. Pondering each word from the book, hoping them to be distorted, my mind silently accepted the truth in hands rushed through the withered pages of my notebook. Now I'm inscribing each faces in my mind, each curves, ups and downs and the symmetry just this day and I'll set them all free. Gifting Husseini's bestseller, you wished me birthday bestie, saying it is Thursday you had to leave. My eyes seeing you leave were breaking, beating machine inside me started ripping. Now I'm traveling widely, reading Murakami before I'm gone, feeling sun rays dancing in waves, feeding Robin's days with past. Oblivious of date and time, I write when moon stares, listen to melody when sun cares. I'm building walls high so no one reaches me. Drawing borders is essential, you know, but my pestilential thoughts are still innocent and I am quiet. But quiet is not always peace. By now you have spotted my growing insularity and I am my breath's irregularity. I cry, I try to change whatever am I and my love. I dream of you often. Urge to see you before I rest in coffin. Urge to rest my head on your shoulder, but my love, now I feel colder. I scream in pain with no hope of life, so I admire my sorrows, and sometimes I borrow some more of it. I peep at our memories through the crevices of my mind. The clouds of love my heart carries burden me with no one around they turn darky. They flood my soul, my heart and eyes like a wounded wolf in dark forest cries. Spurning the theories of what snuffed me, scraping all suspense, I put my pain in a coat. Here arrives the toughest letter I wrote. If the morning sun rises without me, if the mustard robins mun for me and you see me drowning in blood red, you would cry. Holding my wrist, your tears would pass through my skin. Your panicky eyes would notice my note, dear bestie, the first libretto I quote. Another tear would meet the lifeless paper, grieved moisture would fill the room as tear would disguise vapor. As you progress, your hands would tremble, my words would strike you. Don't worry, I'm already gone. Gather the letters and rush to the lawn, burn them and see how smoke blackens the sky. Wait until you see my hand waving at you. Goodbye. Now you would come back, adore my pale face. 
You cry out loud, I won't be back, dear, no matter how much you shout. Extinguishing your questions, I advance. My life a hoax call, my mind another storm. No drug could work, no SSRIs. My mind works differently, a preternatural device. So, a revelation occurred in a forest a day. I would turn evil the day my thoughts kill a cad gray. Mine would vanquish my heart and my heart would pray. The following day my beloveds would face the fate of the cad gray. An inherited curse shall die with me, I say. But first on the left lies a bouquet. Deliver it to my love, will you? But don't you read the note in blue. Hey, my love, I'm already gone. A part of me lives in songs I address. They were for you today, I confess. Reminiscing your smile, I will adore you from among stars, adore the incomplete journey of ours. Visiting my grave, doing a favor, you would drop your tears on it. Feeling your warmth, listening your heart beat, will cry my corpse underneath. Now you, Mr. Bestie. I am unenlightened if God welcomes me or devil, but having you have always felt like heaven. Dying is not my will, but for saving you, it's an obligation. Tens of my mistakes, hundreds of your lectures, two hundreds of your apologies were yet to be made. My bestie, I'm really afraid. I miss you. I am sorry for calls and attended, for differences, distances that will never be mended. But when you put your shoulders down and your eyes search for me, halt a little and look back at our memories. A gem for some, pebble for some, were I for you, best creation of July. You slept holding my slitted hand. My dear, it's not fertile land, but desert sand. Here arrives the sun and ten humans for my burial. You gently put me inside the blue coffin. Cherishing my sunken eyes, you push my hair, flicks behind my ear, and cover my face with shroud. Moving backwards, you would collapse. You open your eyes in symmetry. For the last time, you inspect my face in capillary. Gifting me jasmine and smile, why left me too soon, you would cry. But please, as you go, don't wish me goodbye. Every night, you will remember me, will mourn for me. You will look for me in woods near seashore, under the sky and memories. You will spell my name as it rains, I will be in raindrops. You will watch the sky, I will be with robins waving my hands at you. But you won't see me. I will feel empty. You will feel empty. A traumatic void. Sun will still rise, clouds will still gather, my bestie.